Okay, so let's go through the men's draw now. It's some epic matches. We've just gone through a very quick summary, but let's go through it match by match, starting with the players that are withdrawn because some big names are not playing. So we have Brooksby. He's pulled out. Federer obviously pulled out as well. Nishikori's pulled out. Pella, Rayonich, Sandgren, Team, and Stan Wawrinka all pulled out. So some really big names, some Grand Slam champions in there as well. Djokovic, the number one seed at this stage, is playing Kecmenovic. We'll see, maybe a Serbian in the second round. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Tommy Paul in the second round. Then we've got Ott versus the wild card Zeng. Winner of that match takes on either Query or Sonego, the number 25 seed in the second round. Then we've got the number 17 seed, Monfils, versus in Korea in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Bublik or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Del Bonas versus Martinez. Winner of that match takes on either Bagnus or the number 16 seed, Garen. So you can see there, if Djokovic does get to play, he has a very good draw. Sonego did beat him a couple of years ago, but Djokovic, Grand Slam Djokovic, we know is an absolute animal. So it's going to be very interesting because he, if he plays, he should get through this part of the draw. He can beat Monfils, he can beat Garen. There's no threats there for Djokovic. Maybe Query, maybe Sonego. Let's go to the second section of the draw now. We've got number 12 seed, Cam Norrie taking on Seb Korda. That is a dangerous matchup. Very, very fun matchup uh, for us to watch, but very un unlucky for Nori. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Mute or Pui in the second round. Then we've got Greek Spore versus Fanini. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 19 seed, Carino Busta, in the second round. Then we've got the number 31 seed, Elkarez, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Fucevic or Lajevic in the second round. Uh, then you got Kozlov versus Vesely. Winner of that match takes on either a very, very interesting first round match between Nakashima and the number seven seed Berrettini. So, I mean, look, Berrettini, good draw. Should get through if he can get through a couple of those names. Obviously, Elkarez, everyone wants to see how he does this year. Um, especially after what he did at the US Open. But look, this is a this is an interesting part of the draw. Uh, winner of this part of the draw will obviously take on Djokovic in the quarterfinals if Nole plays. All right, let's get to the serious stuff now because the draw starts getting stacked from here on in. The third section, we've got the number three seeds, Vera taking on Altmaier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Lopez or Milman in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Nishioka. Winner of that match takes on either the wildcard Vukic or the number 30 seed Harris in the second round. Then we've got the number 23 seed Opelka versus Anderson. That match is just going to be tie breaks, aces all day long. Um, serve bot versus serve bot. We'll see how that plays out. Winner of that match takes on either Kopfer or Tabana in the second round. Then we've got Rune versus Quan. Winner of that match takes on either Jera or Shapovalov, the 14th seed in the second round. So Shapo versus Zverev could be a fourth round. But remember, Harris at the US Open last year, massive uh, tournament for him. Harris is dangerous, so watch out. Zverev, very tricky draw. Uh, Harris and, of course, Shapo are the big names, but you've know, got to watch out for Anderson. Got to watch out for Opelka as well. Um, not easy for Sasha Zverev, and it only gets worse, as you'll see in a second. Let's go to the bottom part of the top half of the draw. We've got the number 10 seed, Hercatch, taking on Drissimov. Winner of that match takes on either Duckworth or Manorino in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus McDonald. Winner of that match takes on either Munair or the number 18 seed Karatev in the second round. Then we've got the number 28 seed Hashinov taking on Kudla. Winner of that match takes on either Bonzi or Goyovchek Go 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 in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Kokonakis. Winner of that match takes on either Giron or the number six seed, Rafa Nadal. And look, Rafa's got a tough draw. Gets through Giron, Kokonakis second round, very tough. Hashinov third round, very tough. Her catch or Karatev fourth round, very tough for Rafa especially on the fast courts of the Australian Open. Uh, if, the, if the weather's warm, the big hitters are going to get uh, going to win. So Rafa's got a tough, tough draw. Not to mention, if he does win his part of the draw, Rafa, he'll probably play Zverev in the quarterfinals. Bottom half of the draw now, the top section of the bottom half. We've got Kasper Ruud, the number eight seed, taking on Molkan in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Avashka or Anduha in the second round. Then we've got Seppi versus Madrazak. Winner of that match takes on either Musetti or Dimonor, who is the number 22 seed. So Dimonor versus Musetti, that looks like a five-setter for me. Next-gen guys going at it. Very fun matchup. Another very fun matchup, you've got Basilashvili, the number 21 seed, taking on Murray in the, sec in the first round. Massive first round there. Five sets written all over that one. Very interested to see how that plays out. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Quavos in the second round. Then we've got Johnson versus Thompson. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 11 seed Sinner in the second round. Sinner's got a good draw. I know a lot of you think that Sinner might make the you know, make a good run at this tournament. 
He's got a very good draw. He could easily get through his part of the draw. You know, there's a lot of... I mean, maybe Murray's probably a danger player based on experience, but I think Sinner on a hard court, he should beat pretty much all those players without too much problem. Maybe a five-setter against Murray would be pretty fun to watch, but I think Sinner's got a pretty good draw. Next section of the draw, we've got RBA, take, uh, the number 15 seed, taking on Travalia. Winner of that match takes on either uh, Cole Schreiber or Chekinado. We were going at it in the first round. Then we got TFO versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or the number, uh, what is it? Number 20 seed, Fritz, in the second round. Uh, interesting part of the draw, that one. Uh, then we got the number 26 seed, Dimitrov, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Pear or Montero in the second round. Then we got Baez versus Ramos Vinoles. Winner of that match takes on either Ima or the number four seed, Stefano City Pass. So, very interesting part of the draw because of City Pass's question mark with his elbow. Um, Dimitrov loves playing in Australia, so he could be a very fun one. Uh, maybe get out of this part of the draw. All right, let's go to the bottom section of the draw now. We've got number five seed, Rublev. He takes on Maga in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Bayana or Barenkis in the second round. Then we've got two qualifiers going at it in the first round. Winner of that qualifier battle will take on either another qualifier, or the number 27 seed, Chilic, in the second round. Then we've got the number 24 seed Evans taking on Goffan in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Poprin or Rindenik in the second round. Then we've got Fakina versus Bolt. Winner of that match takes on a very a winner of a very interesting match between Rusevori and the number nine seed Oji Aliasim. That kind of feels like a five setter. A couple of young guys who are, uh, you know, next gen guys in form as well. Rusevori had a pretty good week last week. Uh, lost to Rafa in the end, I believe. FAA obviously won the ATB Cup with Team. Uh, uh, Canada. Very interested to see how this goes. And the bottom part of the draw, which has uh, got a lot of fun matchups, potentially. We've got number 13 seed, Schwartzman, taking on Kranovich. First round. Very fun matchup there. Winner of that match takes on either uh, O'Connell or Gaston in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Serendolo. Winner of that match takes on either Cressy or the number 22 seed, Isna, in the first, who were going out in the first round. So that's a five-setter all over because we know Cressy serve volley tennis. John Isla with a big serve. That'll be a five-setter in about two hours. <laughs> It'll be a very quick five-setter. Then we've got the number 29 seed, Umber, taking on Gasquet. Winner of that match takes on either Van der Zanschulp or Struff in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier taking on Nick Kyrgios. And get this, winner of that match takes on either Laxanen or the number two seed, Daniel Medvedev, in the second round. So uh, we went crazy when the draw came out. And now, looking at that, it's like... The best second round match you could ask for, Kyrgios versus Medvedev. What a matchup. Not to mention the winner of that plays on Bear. You remember last year, Kyrgios on Bear, five setters every time. And also Medvedev and Umber played an epic at the start of this year at the Edge of the Cup. Djokovic has got the easiest draw. I picked Zverev at the end of last year. And I'm, look, I'm, I'm true to my word. I'll pick Zverev again. I'll keep, keep picking Zverev. Uh, I'm not going to change my prediction. It's not easy. I mean, that's not an easy draw that he's got. Medvedev's got a nightmare down the bottom with the Kyrgios and Bear back-to-back matchups, potentially. We don't even know if Djokovic is playing because if he if he gets removed, Rublev might have the easiest draw. Maybe he gets to the final. Maybe Rublev wins the Australian Open. But I'm going to go with Zverev. You let me know in the chat or in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win the Australian Open this year? For the men. That, I don't know. I mean, and don't give me the whole I'm waiting for Djokovic answer. Put your put your prediction on the line. Who do you reckon? And if you say Novak, that's fair. That's a, hey, look, Novak has the best draw. He plays, he wins. I don't see how Djokovic doesn't win this tournament. 